Hi readers. How's everyone doing today? That's good. Well, are you ready for some foundations? Okay, let's start with our warm up. We're going to do the die graphs on the big cards since they're still a little bit new. When baby Echo looks at you, you need to echo what I say. CK sock. SH ship. TH thumb. WH whistle. CH chin. And let's practice a few of our sounds up here. D dog d. J j. A apple a. Ah. E ed a. Ah. I itch i. O octopus a. Ah. You up a. Uh. Y yellow y. Very nice job, and you know what's next. We need to sing our vowels. A apple a e ed a i itch o octopus a u up a. Readers. Okay, we're going to do something called nonsense words. You've probably done these before when you were in school with a teacher or online with a teacher as well. So they're not real words, they're just kind of silly nonsense words. But sometimes parts of them can turn into real words. So it does help us to be able to just read the sounds. Let's try some. Okay, here's our word down here. I'll bring it a little closer. Let's tap it out. T up top. Top, that's not a thing, but it's part of the word Tupperware. So sometimes looking at little nonsense parts can help us. Okay, let's try something else. <clears throat> All right, I want to hear you try to tap this word out all by yourself. Did you say zat? Zat. Nonsense word. What if I change the vowel? What does it say now? Tap it if you're stuck. Z -opt -z -opt. Very good. Let's try another one. Okay, let me hear you tap out this nonsense word. Quib. Quib. Good. And if you're getting a little better at tapping, you can always kind of just tap it in your head and just say the whole word. Once you're able to do that, we want to do that. We don't want to tap unless we need to or unless we're stuck or unsure. Another one of these silly little nonsense words. Try this one, my friends. What did you say? Lux. Lux. Good, like deluxe. Let's 
And how about one more? This is a really silly one. What does it say? Chaz. Chaz. So silly. Let me put my digraph here. My O and my Z. If you thought that was fun, you can always take your Velcro board and make some of your own really silly nonsense words and practice reading too. But now we're going to stop and we are going to do some nature stories. Okay, let me bring you over to this way. Okay, here's our sentence. Repeat after me. We went home. All right, let's get the syllable frames. We need to start with our uppercase. We have a good space in between. Went home and put our period at the end. Let me write that in. We went home, period. Let me bring you a little closer. We went home. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to circle this word right here. Do you think you can tell me what that word is? Hmm. Very good. It says we. That's one of our new trick words. Now, what if I change this sentence? And what if I do this? And I'm going to scoop it. She went home. What word did I circle now? That's right. I did the word she. So let's make some room up here in our trick word box. So far, we just learned we, and now we have she. That's right. You read it all by yourself. What if I change it like this? And read it now. He went home. What does this word say now? He. H. E. We. She. He. These words all rhyme. This is crazy. Three trick words. Okay, I'm going to erase these. And we're going to do a new sentence. Here we go. The next sentence, repeat after me, is... We will be on the swings. We will be on the swings. Okay, watch me write this. We already know we, uppercase, w, i, o, b, on. We know the trick word, the swings, period. Okay. We will be on the swings. Read it with me. We will be on the swings. I'm going to circle this word right here. Does anyone think you can read me this new trick word? We will be on the swings. Yeah, this one is B. Let me add it up here. B, E. Wow. We, she, he, B. And are you ready? I have one more sentence for you to read. And now we have, that book is for me. Uppercase T, not TH doesn't just say th. Sometimes it's noisy. It says th, like in that. That book is for me. And of course, we need, oh no, a period fell. We need the period. Okay. I'm going to scoop it. I want you to read it with me. 
that book is for me. We scoop to sound smooth. That book is for me. Okay, I'm going to circle this last word here. Do you know what it says? Very good. It says me. Let me add that to our list. M E me. Okay, my friends. You just learned all of these words. Can you believe it? Five words at once. Let's read them all. We, he, she, be, me. They all rhyme. What's tricky about these is that we, so far, we've learned that E usually says eh. But in these words, it says E, it says its name. The beginning sounds are all the way that they normally sound. So what do you say we practice writing them? Okay, stand up. Let's get our writing arms out and let's sky write. Let's do we first, okay? W E. Okay, let's do he. H E. She. S H E. B E me M E Okay now let's take our fingers and write all these on our tabletops. We W E P H E Take your finger and you're writing it. She S H E B E E Me M E Awesome, you guys. Just awesome. Now we know that we always we always need to add these to our student notebooks. So you need to go to the trick word section. And I want you to just pause here and take the time to enter all of these into the right letter in your trick word section. So pause here and enter these. Okay, if you're back, we're going to do one last thing for our lesson today. You need your dry erase board and your marker, okay? We're going to write three words and then one sentence. So let's number it. One, two, three. Number one, repeat after me. Shop. I'm going to shop for food. Let's tap it out. Sh ah. Go ahead, write shop. Sh ah. If you need more time, you can pause. You can use mine to help you. Shop. Let's mark the digraph. Great job. Okay, number two. Repeat after me. Lick. Actually, we're going to save lick for next week. We didn't cover that yet. Let's try this one. With. Let's tap out with. W -i -f. With. And mark your digraph. Okay, last word for today. Mash. Tap it and write it. Pause until you're done. Check it to mine and let's mark the digraph. Okay, my friends, erase and we're gonna do one sentence. Repeat after me. Beth has to get the pup. Beth has to get the pup. Pause and write your sentence. Okay, if you're back, I want you to check these words one at a time as I write them. Capital B for Beth, then a space, has, space, to, space, get, get, space, her, that's one of our trick words, space, pup and then a period at the end. Fix any mistakes and practice reading it. Beth has to get her pup. Great job.